Good morning, it's Tuesday, July 23rd, and this is Slices of Wenatchee. We're excited to bring you a closer look at one of our top stories and other announcements every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Today, we're focusing on Washington State Attorney General and gubernatorial candidate Bob Ferguson, who made a campaign stop in Wenatchee. And later, we turn our focus to the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest, where fire restrictions have taken effect. Before we begin, have you joined Neighbor yet? If not, download the app today and join local conversations about issues that matter. Neighbor is a site just for our local community focused on facts, not misinformation. Best of all, it's free for everyone. To learn more, visit WenatcheeWorld.com slash N-A-B-U-R. Now our feature story. On July 17th, Bob Ferguson visited the Wenatchee Valley, engaging with labor leaders and attending fundraising events. His first stop was the Wenatchee Convention Center for the Washington State Labor Council's 2024 Constitutional Convention. During the luncheon, he spoke to labor council leaders, emphasizing his commitment to unions and workers. Following the luncheon, Ferguson toured the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 191's Wenatchee Area Technical Training Site. Here, he learned about the training programs for aspiring electricians. Marta Johnson, a campaign team member, highlighted that this visit was part of Ferguson's broader strategy to connect with the communities across Washington. Ferguson also addressed the opioid crisis, a pressing issue affecting communities statewide. He touted his office's success in securing over $1 billion in settlements from opioid manufacturers and distributors, funds that will be used for treatment programs across the state. Environmental protection was another key topic during Ferguson's visit. He linked this issue to supporting labor workers, emphasizing the role of union jobs in transitioning to a green economy. Ferguson has received endorsements from 14 federally recognized tribal nations in Wenatchee. He expressed pride in his relationships with these tribes, highlighting their importance in various issues from the economy to environmental sustainability. On the issue of housing, Ferguson promised a comprehensive plan to address the housing crisis if elected governor. He aims to construct 200,000 units across the state within his first four years in office, addressing a need he identified during his visits to all 39 counties. Ferguson's commitment to labor issues was underscored by Matthew Hepner, an IBEW Local 191 representative and East Wenatchee City Council member. Hepner highlighted Ferguson's efforts in defending a state law facilitating compensation for Hanford nuclear site workers affected by radioactive waste exposure. Bob Ferguson's Wenatchee visit underscores his campaign's focus on labor support, addressing the opioid crisis, environmental protection, and affordable housing. As the gubernatorial race continues, Ferguson's engagement with communities and unions could play a crucial role in his campaign's success. Before we continue, the Wenatchee Wine and Food Festival is coming up on Saturday, August 24th at the Town Toyota Center. Enjoy award-winning wines and sample tasty bites while you enjoy live music and celebrate our region's wine culture. Get your tickets now for the region's premier summer event at WenatcheeWineAndFood.com. Next, we turn our focus to the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest, where fire restrictions have taken effect. Starting Saturday, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest will implement Stage 2 fire restrictions. These restrictions are comprehensive, aiming to reduce the risk of wildfires during the dry season. Under these Stage 2 restrictions, all campfires are banned throughout the forest. This includes areas within the developed campgrounds and designated wilderness areas. The ban extends to all wood and charcoal campfires, as well as wood-burning camp stoves. However, there are exceptions. Pressurized or bottled liquid fuel stoves, lanterns, and campfires or heating devices that have no flammable material within three feet of the device remain permitted. Additionally, no recreational shooting in the forest is prohibited under these restrictions. However, it's important to note that this does not affect lawful hunting activities carried out under tribal treaty rights or by individuals with a valid state-issued hunting license during the hunting season. For those seeking more detailed information, you can visit the U.S. Department of Agriculture's website. Thanks for listening. For more information about all the stories you heard today, visit WenatcheeWorld.com. The Wenatchee World has been engaging, informing, and inspiring North Central Washington communities since 1905. We encourage you to subscribe today to keep your heart and mind connected to what matters most in North Central Washington. Thank you for starting your morning with us, and don't forget to tune in again on Thursday. <laughs>